Hey, what's happening, guys? I'm over here at the local dump, and I'm just doing one of my favorite activities. And that would be picking at the swap shack. It's about 1230, and I actually just left there. It wasn't spectacular today, but I did find a few items. I picked up this item right here. It's called a stomp rocket. Now, I've never actually seen this before, but according to the little boy and girl in the photo, you just jump on the pump, and it shoots the rocket up in the air. I'm pretty sure it's still sealed in the box as well. I also found this thing right here. It is some kind of wireless doorbell, and there's also a remote for it. I looked it up on eBay, and it looked like they're selling for like $18 new. So I'm hoping a cheapskate will give me $13 to $15, because I know I would. I also got these guys right here. I'm not really sure what they are. They're called Sleeping Queens. So it's probably some kind of little card game or board game. Uh, it looks like one of them has some damage to the packaging. When I looked them up, it looked like they were selling for about $10 a piece. I'm going to see if I can't lot both of them up together and try to get like $20 or as close to it as possible. And the last thing that I found was this AccuCheck blood glucose meter. I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but it says it expires in 2007. I'm not really sure how a blood meter can expire. Maybe the battery expires, or it might be that just the strips expired. Anyway, I'm going to put in the description that I believe the strips expired in 2007 because it's a little computer. They don't expire. But it did say never opened, so I was interested in that. So like I said, nothing spectacular, but I should be able to make a few bucks more or less. I just enjoy coming out here. It's kind of like one of my hobbies and it keeps me from going insane. I'm just not the kind of person that can just sit there and list and stare at a computer all day. I got to get out of the house. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get back to work and I'll talk to you at ATR. Hey, what's happening, my friends? It's Thursday morning and I'm out here at the Salvation Army. It's five minutes before open and there's only one other car here. I thought this place was going to be packed, but no. The only reason I'm here early is so I can see if I can find some goodies. Because I haven't been here all week, so hoping to find a nugget. A wish me luck. Hey, how's it going, guys? I have returned from inside the Salvation Army. It's currently 11.20 a.m., so I walked around for a little over an hour. And sadly, things were not as good as Big Josh had hoped for. I was able to pick up a few items, so it wasn't terrible, but the fact that I haven't been there in a week, I feel like I should have picked up an entire basket full of stuff, and I even told the manager, and she said, well, not necessarily because we've been short-staffed and haven't been putting out as much as usual. Not to mention, there's a strong possibility that they're putting out stuff that I would buy every day, but since I'm not there... The resellers that stop in after work probably scoop it on up. But unfortunately, I just don't have time to be at the Salvation Army every single day, uh, five, six days a week. I've got an entire garage full of stuff, and so I'm just doing what I can do. You know, I like to go out once a week for, you know, therapeutic reasons. You know, I don't want to be stuck in for weeks on end without going anywhere. But like I said, I found a few items, so it's all good. I found this pair of Andrea headphones. I'm not sure how well you guys can tell, but there's actually two pieces that are supposed to wrap around this little circular part right there. So I think this thing might actually be broken. So I might have to sell it as parts if I'm able. I didn't see any sold comps on that specific model, but I did see some brand new ones that had sold that were a different model for like $90 plus shipping. So I'm hoping they work and I can get something for them, but hopefully I can make more than the $3 that I paid for them. I also found this Easton glove. It's model NAT80. They had five bucks on it. It's a little bit stiff, so I'm going to have to disclose that in the listing, but I did find one that had sold in pre-owned condition for $40 plus shipping, so I figured for $5 it would be a good investment. I found this little Sony Watchman portable TV. These days, I think people just buy these to put on a shelf or something. I don't think you can actually use them anymore because it's all digital now. I paid a dollar for it, but I believe I could probably get about 15 free shipping. I also found this Pampered Chef pizza cutter. It was 50 cents. I think she actually threw this in for free. It looks like they sell for between 10 and 15 dollars. 
I also found this Milwaukee wireless screwdriver. It sells for about 40 bucks plus shipping. I paid four for it and I think it's still working fine. This is actually the last thing I found on the way out. It's called Prairie Dog Town. She didn't give me a discount today, but I think she just threw a couple cheap items in. She knows I buy a lot of stuff out of there. When I looked that up, it looked like it was going for between 13 and 18 free shipping. So what do you guys think about today's haul? I'm a little bit frustrated about it. I thought it'd be a whole lot better stuff, but what are you going to do? You just go and you find what you can. So I'm going to hit the more than a thrift, then I'm going to shoot over to the dump, and then I'm going to go home and probably start listing some stuff. Hey, what's happening, guys? I am back at the homestead. I just got back from the dump, and I found a few things. I also hit the more than a thrift and found a one thing. So let me show you guys what we found. So the first thing we found was this item right here over at the more than a thrift store. It was $5, and it's called a warm rails. It's got some brackets, and you attach it to the wall in your bathroom, and you put your towels on there, and supposedly it keeps them warm. I talked to the guy that works there, and he said he plugged it in, so we should be good to go. I looked it up online, and it looks like similar items are selling for about $50 plus shipping. As soon as I left the more than a thrift, I shot over to the dump, and I was actually able to find a few things there today. Nothing crazy. The merchandise haul was a little bit puny. But I did find a couple of video games for the PC. The first thing that I found was this copy of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. It looked like it was selling for between $10 and $15 with free shipping. If you like video games and you like roller coasters, chances are you'll like this game called Roller Coaster Tycoon Gold Edition made for the PC. I picked this up and it looks like it's selling for about $15 plus shipping. I also found this copy of Zoo Tycoon. I couldn't find any pre-owned copies that had sold, but one brand new one sold for 50 or 60 bucks, and somebody else had one listed for about 30 plus shipping. So I'm expecting I can sell this for between 25 and 30 plus shipping. I also found these nice glasses over there today. They're made in Italy, and it's a set of four. Somebody put new on there. So they may be new, but I won't be able to sell them as new. But it looked like they were selling for between $10 and $15 plus shipping. And then the last thing that I found over there today was this Sony radio. It plays tapes and CDs. I plugged it in. The radio worked. I popped a CD in there. It worked. And I fiddled around a little bit with the tape functions. And they seem to work fine too. When I looked it up online, it looks like they're selling for around $25 plus shipping. So I should be able to profit about $20. I was going to try to take some photos outside today, but the sun is really low and it's looking like I can probably get better results at the light table. If you guys enjoy the pickups, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. And as always, we'll talk to you guys next time. Have a great night.